What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is another day of playing Rogue decks and I think this is probably one of the more popular Rogue decks. I mean, I guess Scarchup Lucario was pretty um, big as well, but uh, go help vote for tomorrow's Rogue deck. Uh, down below is a link to the Facebook page and whatever deck gets the most likes. Uh, it's kind of like Fan Friday, but we're still leaving it roguish. Uh, so make sure you go leave a Rogue deck. Go leave a like on your favorite road deck, and we'll play it for Friday. But guys, today we're showing the Alolan Zekator um, Rabumbi deck. Now this list is actually piloted by Andrew Wambolt um, from the Charizard Lounge. Now, I did reach out and try to get his list. He played over at Memphis Regionals. If he would have won his last rounds, he actually would have made it day two, uh, but he didn't give me the list of time, unfortunately. Uh, if he does send me the list, I'll leave a link. I'll leave a, the actual list down below in the comments. But what we're doing today is he actually did write a, uh, he made a video and did like a, sh 90, I don't think he actually did an article about it. I think he just like, um, over on the Charger Lounge, he made a video about it. Uh, so I'm just taking that video he made and basically showing it off. Yes, I'm just copying straight video. And I wonder how different his list he played at Memphis actually is. I haven't seen it, so I have no idea what it actually looks like. But today we're showing this Zekator deck off. And I actually reached out to um, Zach Zamora as well. He had a bunch of different Alolan Zekator list. Uh, there was one that has like Buzzle, Cartana, and like a bunch of different, uh, different variant attackers. There's one that had Macargo. There's one that had Oracorio, which we actually saw Oracorio play against us on Tuesday with the Lorantis. Uh, but today we're trying Andrew's list. Zekator can be played like a bunch of different ways. Uh, so we're gonna try it out today. So. 4-4 four, four egg line, multiply, search deck for egg, put onto your bench and shelf for your deck. Then Shrothbuckle Shake, this is going to be our main attacker. This attack does 20 more damage for each type of basic energy card in your discard pile. You can't add more than 100 damage in this way. So, once you got 5 different types in there, you could do uh, 100 damage plus uh, the base 20. So you could do 120 with choice pain 150. And of course, we're playing Shrine of Punishment. Uh, so GX and EX Pokemon will take an extra damage in between turns. So we're maxing out 120, and this is where we saw like the Lorantis promo kind of come into play, because then you can start hitting for 140, which can knock out uh, Buzzwolves, which is very important. But today, like I said, we're playing Andrew's same 60. Uh, he played a 2 to Cutie Fly. I like it a lot because the Rebumbi has free retreat, which is really cool. And uh, not Rebumbi, Cutie Fly has free retreat. Uh, it has Fairy Wind as well. We don't really care about that. And it has Rebumbi. Rebumbi has Honey Gather. Once during the turn, before you attack, you may search deck for two base energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Uh, this way, you can ultra ball with those energies, whatever you want to do. And to get it into your Skarpal, which is really, really nice, you can kind of combine that with Rebumbi plus Ultra Ball, which is really cool. I do like that a lot. And you can just thin your deck down later game. Uh, I automatically get a Grass Energy, which is pretty cool. And he did play two Marsh Shadows for Let Loose. You really don't need too much to set up, so Marsh Shadow can come out of nowhere and kind of punish your opponent. And that's going to be it. No GX, no EX, uh, no Tapu Lele or anything like that. Just straight Egg and Rebumbi with Marsh Shadow. So for Acrobite, look at top two cards of your deck. Put one in your hand and discard the other card. Uh, one energy recycle system. Put an energy card in your discard pile in your hand. Or shuffle three back into your deck. Uh, two Nest Ball. Four Ultra Ball. This could be a six ball card. Should be enough. Uh, two Stretcher to get back your Pokemon. You can auto like also sometimes discard them Acrobite so the Stretcher is nice. Of course, for Shrine to help out against GX and EX. Uh, for Cynthia, we're going Maximum Consistency as well as four Lily. Uh, three Gooseberry, we're going to on the bench. And two Kikui, so you do an additional 20 damage if need be with four Choice Band. Now, like I said, I've seen some lists that have played no Acrobike. I've seen some lists that play TV Reporter, which you can discard them that way. Uh, there's like a billion different ways you can play Egg. I'm not sure which is the best way. And like I said, I don't have Andrew's list, unfortunately, that he... Almost made day two with, and then of course we're playing like six grass and a bunch of different energy attackers. But that's gonna be the deck. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but make sure I save this guy's name right. And like I said, if um, if Andrew gets back to me, I'll leave the list down below in the comments. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had a list out for Thursday because I really want to show this deck off uh, for at least uh, some roguish kind of thing. And it is a good deck. Every deck we've shown so far this week, maybe Tuesday's videos, uh, I think Tuesday is still fine. Uh, still could be a good deck to play. 
Um, Garchomp is a good deck to play, Egg is a good deck to play. All these rogue decks do have a lot of potential, and that's why I kind of want to show them off. I guess the RCH Genesect is like definitely like so much the most gimmicky deck, right? Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I think Egg is definitely in in uh, in a good shot to do so much well. Uh, so we won the plane flip, yes, we'll go first. And like always, we're gonna play three games with the deck and see what happens. Unless I get mad and I decide to play more, uh, like we did yesterday um, with the uh, what deck do we play? Uh, Garchomp. Yeah, when I got when I raged against Malamar. Sorry, Malamar players, I do apologize again. All right, so <clears throat> we'll press done. We'll get a new hand of seven. Let's see. All right, so we start with Bumby. Okay, uh, or Cutie Five. Sorry. I'm gonna keep saying it's Rebumbi because it's it's not a Rebumbi, but you know you know what I'm saying. All right, so this guy only has 30 HP, which is a downside. There's a Sand True, there's an Onyx. Okay, so Acrobike. Um, we'll grab the Lolan. Okay. Um, and we're just gonna Synthy for New Hand of Six. We could Marsh Shadow, but we need a guarantee of Pokemon off this turn. All right, so we can Ultra Ball discard Darken Cynthia to grab the Egg. Uh, so grab the Egg here. We'll put down the egg. We're Acrobike. Let's see what our two cards are. Oh, a Lily and a Lily. Great two cards to see. And right now, we'll just pass into our opponent's turn. Uh, next turn, we'll probably just Cynthia. Hope to hit an Ultra Ball plus two energies. Uh, maybe find their Bumby. Start getting that guy out. That'd be really nice. I'm not too scared of us being knocked out. Uh, there's a DC going to the Onyx. Okay. What's Onyx's weakness? Grass. Oh, Onyx is weak to Grass. Oh, but he's going to evolve into Scizor. Uh, no, Steelix. <laughs> oh, Steelix. Okay, alright. So, Lily for eight. Okay, and Defense Curl heads. Uh, so he cannot be hurt. Uh, yeah. So, well, Cynthia for new hand of six. Okay. So, we can Ultra Ball, discard the Nest Ball in Psychic Energy to grab Rebumbi. Okay. We'll put down a Lola and Zekator. We will retreat the Cutie Fly to Zekator. Um, put this down. Maybe we should have used Eggs Attack first. Uh, Honey Gather for a Grass and a Lightning. I know we can't hurt him, but I want to get an uh, attachment off this turn. So put this here, and we'll just Tropical Shake, which does nothing. I know it does nothing because of Defense Girl. But right now we're doing 20, 40, 60, 80. Not a lot. Yeah, we don't have the crazy setup. Um, like I thought we would. So Onyx coming down, okay. Um, Steelix coming down. Now he is, uh, he is a little different. Metal Firing Pan going to that guy, okay. Um, Tail Crush doesn't one shot us, so that's good. Tail Crush doesn't one shot us, okay. So get a new hand here, all right. Uh, a Victini coming down, so you can flip some more coins. Metal Gina Onyx, and we'll probably see the Defense Curls, Timer Ball, Tails, and Double Tails. This is why you pretty great ball. All right, defense curl. Another hit. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll top deck Guzma on our turn. Get an ultra ball. So we will we'll honey gather for a fire and a grass. Okay. We'll ultra ball discard the grass and lightning for another egg. Okay. <clears throat> we'll put down the egg. Attach a grass energy and just a lily for five. Uh, just getting out of my hand. All right, so we get another egg. We get a nest ball for another egg. Or do we go marsh out of trying to gain, uh, trying to hit a Guzman next turn? Oh, it goes. I forgot we're nest balling, obviously. Okay. Uh, we'll tropical shake again. Oh my goodness. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So we're doing max damage. We're doing 120, okay. Now, Steelix can't one-shot us, so that's good. Metal Energy, uh, Steelix. Yeah, so he can't one-shot us. It does 120 max. All right, so finally, we see a Tails coming down on the Defense Girl. Uh, but then he flips again because a uh, Victini, great. There's a Lily, Egg, Grass Energy, Cynthia. All right. So we got a Guzma for next turn. We'll put down the egg. We'll a Bumby to thin our deck down to get double grass. Okay, we have a okay, so we'll grab this. Uh next turn we're definitely Guzman up this dang Victini. 
I think that's definitely the problem uh, with press done. I guess we could just attack again if we want to. Um, yeah, we're going to lose and break the Vitini. I'll take a knock on the Vitini while we can. There's a Lily. Okay. Draw on some cards. Uh, we don't have any Pokemon this card probably either. So, a Rang Oranguru coming down. A Ranguru. Oranguru. Whoever you want to call him. Uh, but we're gonna start Guzma, bring up the Victini, smack him in the face. There's a Metal Energy to Steelix. Uh, like I said, the Steelix can't one-shot us. So that's a good thing. Ultra Ball. Discarding two cards. Let's see. Discards a Metal and a Cynthia. Okay. Um, yeah. So he's gonna two-shot us while we're two-shot of him. So it's gonna be like this weird... Prize exchange, but if we get the Guzma first to knock out the Bikini, we're good to go. How many Guzmas has he played? None so far. All right, so over the group coming down. Okay, we're gonna see a shark for two. Um, cause he can knock out the Mars Shadow pretty easily. There's a switch into Steelix. Okay, and we're gonna see Steelix swing and shark for one. I think I'm gonna Guzma bring up the Bikini and swing into it. Choice spin the Alolan Sanchu, Tell Crush, Tells, Reflip. I mean, does it matter? Because he's got a two shot us regardless. I think we keep the Steelix on board, actually. Or do we Guzman break up the Steelix, hit it, and that way he's forced to find a Guzman next turn? Yeah, so we're we'll gonna do this. We'll try to save this guy from being hurt. Um, Attach a Grass Energy here and just Tropical Shake. I don't think there's anything left in our deck. We'll honey gather. Yeah, there's just one left. So we'll grab that. And we will just tropical shake. Uh, okay. 120 on to our opponent's turn. All right. So we can knock out the Steelix next turn. We can knock out his guy first. All right. Uh, unless he has another Guzma here. He hasn't played a Guzma yet. Not another one. A Guzma. Sorry. Uh, so energy active. Okay. Oh, and he needed the energy. So that could have been a good play if he didn't have the energy there. I just realized that. I, thought, I just assumed he had a DCE and metal energy. Okay. Um, There's a Tate and Liza. Going to switch, maybe? So Nate's got two Hurt Steelixes, though. So that's good news for us. Instruct for one. Okay. Does he play Max Potion or something? So Tell Crush tells... I mean... It, yeah, you can reflip. It does 40 more damage. But in hindsight, it doesn't matter. We're two-shotting each other. Oh, it's our turn. We get a stretcher. Um, do we worry about powering up Mars Shadow? That's the question. A cutie fly can do 20. Um, I wish we had another attacker to power up. Because right now, we're just like going back and forth on the Tropical Shaken. Uh, so we'll do 90. On my opponent's turn. Okay. So we have both Steelixes. We can knock one out next turn. Uh, Stretcher for another egg. Take a knockout. He swings again. We take a knockout on his guy. Uh, tails, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, he takes a knockout regardless. So he goes down to five. Right? But my guys need one energy to attack. His need three, which I think is going to be the game changer here. So on our turn. Get a cutie fly. All right. So we don't have any energies left in our deck, right? I'm just making sure. All right, so we will stretcher into our hand, grab a Lola Zekator, okay, put that guy down, and we will just swing for it, uh, knockout. 90, oh my goodness, he's, we're three-shotting him, we need a Kikui that turn. Oh my goodness, okay, 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 I forgot about that, yeah. We're only doing 90, I thought he had 180, Tell Crush tells, okay. Wow, okay. This is bad. Okay, it's not too bad, right? It's oh, there's the Kikui teasing me right now. Uh Chalk Shake for knockout. For 90, go down to five. We find a shrine of punishment, okay. <clears throat> so he sees this guy up. Okay. We'll turn our, our opponent's turn. Gonna draw a card. We can take a knockout next turn. Um three. Okay, there's Onyx coming down. There's a metal fire pan going to the bench. Ultra ball. Away oh, Delmizen Shrine, okay. Not gonna find anything. Switch into the Sandrew. 
and is struck for two. Alrighty. Does he find an energy? Oh my goodness. Hits defense curl heads, of course. Alright. So, oh my goodness. What do we do with his hand? Like, what do we do here? Um. We just pass, I guess? Alright. <laughs> this is silly. Alright, there's a Steelix coming down, of course. Okay. Lily for four. Hmm. DCE, okay. Palpad, does he not play Guzma? We haven't yet seen Guzma in his hand. Tate and Lies and Cynthia, okay. Defense curl, tails, okay. Get double get double tails here. Get double tails. Yes! Alright, on to our turn. We get Ultra Ball, alright? So we get Ultra Ball away, double shrine, because we do not need these cards. Crab and Lola and Zekator, okay. Grab an egg. Um, we'll attach an energy to Rabumbi. Sure. Uh, Tropical Shake for the knockout. Go down to four. What does he have in his hand? Does he have a metal energy or not? There's a Shrine of Punishment again. Okay, that's good. Good things. So see if Steel. So Steel will come up. We'll see up an egg. Smack him in the face. Okay. Uh, he's going to get a knockout here. We're going to tie on four price cards, okay? There's a Nest Ball for another Onyx, most likely. I think that's what we're going to see here. Now, we're going to have to shuffle three back in the deck. Because um, we need all the eggs back into our deck, for sure. So, he didn't grab anything. So, Nest Ball again, okay? Maybe he's just lowering his hand size down. Because uh, he hasn't touched a metal yet. If he doesn't have metal, then we're definitely looking good. So Ultra Ball White 2 discards an Onyx and a Steelix. Both of the guys. Okay. Wow, he could have benched one of those. Okay, so three cards. Does he find a metal energy? Oh, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, if he didn't find any metal energy, that'd be crazy. Alright, strike for one, okay. Oh, I wish I <laughs> this is a great game. This is going great, guys. Alright, Tell Crush doesn't matter. He's got the knockout regardless. Okay. That's fine. All right, so it takes a knockout. Goes down to four. All right, we'll send up Alola and Zakator. Okay, does he not play Guzma? I have yet to see Guzma come down. All right, so we'll stretcher into our deck. So one, two, three. All right, we will Tropical Shake. I'm gonna save the Kikui for right now, and then next turn, we can use Kikui for the knockout. Now, if he does Guzman this turn and uh, hits us with this guy, we'll just definitely take a knockout. And then we take a knockout on this guy because uh, I don't think he plays Judge. <clears throat> Man, this is definitely like some crazy next level stuff. So Tate and Lies are going to shuffle get five. wonder what he's looking for. That's my question. Uh, we need another egg. That's for sure. So an Ultra Ball. Now, he already has four Onyxes in discard pile. He has two in the discard Two in the field. I don't know why he didn't bench that one Onyx. Um, because that seems like a silly misplay. Okay. Let's see what else. So Nest Ball? What else does he have in his deck? He's already played... Yeah, like I said, he's already played all the Onyxes, so those are all gone. And Struck for two. Okay. And Tell Crush. Alright, so it doesn't matter. He can do whatever he wants to uh, sure, 120. That's fine. <clears throat> Alright, so in our turn, we're going to Kikui. Take a knockout this turn. Alright, and we got the egg. So, egg. Kikui for two. Grass energy. Tropical shake for knockout. Alright. Go down to three price cards. We had to find more at Zekator's. I know there's somewhere. There's a Guzma. That's good. That can help us take uh, some more price cards for sure. Here comes the Steelix. We then, um, we can take a knockout with this guy no matter what. Or we can go Guzma, maybe knock out that fresh Onyx if he puts that down. Like, if we put some fresh Onyx down, we'll definitely just Guzma that up. There's a Cynthia. I gotta think he's almost out of Onyxes, right? He, for some reason, didn't drop any. I, he might play Stretcher. So, Nest Ball, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, that does not matter to us, okay? 
Yeah, if he doesn't put it on the Pokemon, we win here. And yeah, this Toke Rush. Uh, so that's pretty much gonna be game now, because uh, if he puts down a fresh Onyx, we're just gonna Guzma and knock it out. He's weak to us, uh, so it goes down to three. We'll still a bit of Lolan Secator, okay. On <laughs> our turn, why it's two crazy decks playing each other. Uh, we'll hold these just in case. Um, we will Grass Energy the Marshadow. So we have for retreat, tropical shake for the knockout. Going down to two. And then now, what does he do here? So choice band, okay. Because if he puts out Onyx, we're gonna Guzma, take a knockout, we get to go. Um Yep, Big Tini coming up. He could hide behind those Alolan uh Sand Shrews, but not forever. Okay. This is a weird game, number one. I know it's not the best game to watch, right? Uh, so D uh, Metal Energy Durangaru. Uh yeah, we're not letting that happen. Um, let's Acrobike. Well, we'll grab an egg, Zekator, okay. We'll put down egg. We will Guzma bring up his Orangaroo. Send up our egg. Uh, take a knockout. All right. <clears throat> Go down to one. And, uh, that's pretty much going to be it. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what else he can really do here. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think we're down to three Guzmas. We're down two Guzmas. So we have one Guzma left. I don't know if it's in the deck, though. I think it might be prized. Uh, maybe. All right, there's Victor's screen. So I, I don't know. Um, uh, it's not a really good thing to show off with. Like, it might be good. Like, Onyx Steelix might be somewhat good. I don't know how good it is, though. Um, but yeah, that's a deck. That's a deck we just played against. So on the next game, that was pretty exciting, though. Um, we saw that kind of work. Um, we saw that we're the better non-EX GX deck because we only needed one energy. Uh, but like I said, he made some crate that silly play where he discarded both of those guys. I don't know why he did that. But on a game number two. Alright, so we're one no right now, playing two more. Yep. Oh, hold on. See? Almost misclicked. Almost misclicked, guys. Alright, so on our turn. Uh Charlie Birdie. I don't know the name. Whatever. Press done. Oh, that would have been a good hand. They get Ultra Ball discard Guzma, Cynthia, Ultra Ball, uh, Grass, and something. Uh, and Lily. But we would have one extra card in our hand, so I guess that doesn't really matter. In hindsight. Alright, so. We'll press done. Put down egg. Your Grass Energy, Lily. The only thing I, I worry about this is if he starts Tapu Lele. Or switch Tapu Lele knockout. Like, that's scary. Oh. No, it's a Wailer deck. Great. This, this, this. Cynthia, or Lily. Uh, this, Nest Ball, for a, do we go Marshadow? <laughs> All right, we'll grab this. Um, first done. All right, so my opponent's turn. Um, I, I think we win this, like it's Waylord, like, um, yeah, I mean, Waylord's weak to grass. We're just going to watch on him eventually. So Steve is resolved for three cards, but in his hand, okay. Especially if it's like this variant, and he's just like, Steve and resolves their return, because we played double Marshadow. Um, we don't have Marshadow right now, nor can we nest ball for Marshadow, Josh, because it doesn't activate. You silly. Why do you keep doing that, Josh? Why do you keep thinking that you can nest ball for Marshadow? Because you're not paying attention, that's why. You're just so happy you're playing against a Waylord deck. Uh, Wailer's good, don't get me wrong, like, it's cool, like, 200 plus HP, you're a non-GX, you're gonna try to slow your opponent out, I get that, I get that, right? Uh, so, this, this, Lily for two, uh, Multiply for this, it's going to, yeah, it goes on the bench, right? Yeah, alright. Now, the good thing is, I don't think he can really take a knockout here. I don't think he's playing, like, attack. Oh, wow, my goodness. There's an Onyx. There's a field. Stop. Crushing Hammer. Tails. Okay. Um, For every Crushing Hammer we play... Oh, there's a Plumeria. Why are we playing against these decks right now? What is happening? Why Why am I getting punished right now in PTCGO land? Why am I playing against these, like, stall decks? Like, oh, my goodness. All right. Discard two. Discard the Grass Energy of the active. We play six Grass Energies, um, and that just fuels our Executor attack. Um, we also play the Energy Recycler System, so we can get those three back. Ultra Ball, 20, 40, 60, that's enough for a knockout. Uh, grass and Lightning, 
for a Lolan second tour. Okay, we, we should have won this game now, like, pretty easily. Put this down. Goose with the bench. Take a knockout before the game evolve. So come on up, buddy, buddy. There we go. Tropical shake for knockout. All right, go down to five. Uh, Rabumbi. All right, so here comes Wellmore. Okay, so if he goes with this guy's up a counter catcher, that's kind of productive to him. Um, all righty, so he's in trouble. So bumps it with the Brooklyn Hill. Okay, I don't care. We could bump back Rabumbi. Go crazy. Onyx in the field. I hate Onyx. What does that do? Okay, Lemarian, Steven, Resolve. On to our turn. We will do this. Uh, Acrobike? Definitely keeping this card. <laughs> Alright, uh, Shrine, Lily for four. Okay. Acrobike? For Cynthia. Uh, Rabumbi, uh, for two energies. And then, well, your strong shape for the knockout. Because uh, there's plenty of cards, weak to grass, whatever. I think we just one shot it regardless. Oh, 200. Not yet. We're just doing 100. Four in there, not the five. So, Guzma, there we go. Alright, so Onyx coming up. Does he have Steelix? Uh, he has Plumeria, Stevens, Resolve at hand. Uh, oh, there's Steelix. Alright, so Steelix coming down. Okay. Plumeria, whatever. We got another grass energy hand. We can smack him on the face again. Maybe I should have evolved in Rabumbi so that we have a free retreat here. We can just pivot back and forth. Whatever. How much does this put? Three. Okay. Uh, discard the hands tamer, Cynthia. Well, I guess we have the grass energy active. Tropical shake. There's a hundred, a hundred, yeah, hundred right now. That's fine. <clears throat> Do -do -do. All right, show me max potion. He's got to have max potion or he loses. Right now, oh, he doesn't lose because another bitch Pokemon. There it is, good old max potion hitting the field. All right, told you guys. Copycat for a billion. So no Steven's resolve. Okay. Um, counter catcher. Okay, fine with that. On our turn. Um, dark retreat attack. Okay, just keep putting the pressure on them, guys. Just keep putting the pressure on them. Max Potion again. All right. Great things are happening. Tropical Shake again. <laughs> All right. Onto our opponent's turn. Come on now. You got to run out eventually. That's your second one. Yep. A Hoopa. I don't care about Hoopa really. Acerola. Cute. We could just one shot this Hoopa. Uh, one, two, three, four, wait, three, four, five, yes, yeah, so we're taking a knockout right now, okay. Or do we just one-shot this Onyx? Ultra Ball, oh my goodness, I think we go after this. I think we discard this and this. Go after, uh, Executor. Uh, put that down, Guzma, take a knockout. Yeah, because I don't want that thing involving a Steelix right now. So drop a shake for the knockout. Okay, doing 240, go down to three. This is some great content, playing against, the playing against these stall decks. We're really showing our, our deck off really well right now, guys. I know, I'm so happy. Just kidding, I'm not. All right, so he's gotta find a way to like put another Pokemon down. All right, there's a Orn Guru. Okay, I don't care about that card. Counter Energy, whatever. Cynthia, new hand of six. Uh, how many Crushings has he played? One Crushing, uh, one Plumeria. There's Crush Namer. Tails, all right. Uh, tell me I know lies. Um, I think we just like take a knockout here. All right. Nest Ball. 
What's he grabbing? Another Onyx? <gasps> there it is, Onyx. We gotta go after this guy. <laughs> we cannot let that live. We cannot let Onyx live. <gasps> He's looking at two Onyxes? Oh my goodness. Okay. How many Goose has he played? Played two Goose. Okay. Um, I think... Okay, good. We win. Whatever. Fine. Fine. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. On to game number three. We're doing good. We beat two stall decks. Doesn't really show the deck off. But, I mean, I guess the Steelix, the first Steelix deck wasn't a stall deck. But I know this is not what people want to see. They want to see an egg going back and forth. Throwing gifts in the big GX decks. Can we get a GX deck? Can we get... Can we get a GX deck? Can we get one? I started thinking about PewDiePie. You might watch PewDiePie. Can we copy strike PewDiePie? Just love me some PewDiePie, guys. All right. So, Maximum Pruitt. Okay. So, we know for sure they are not playing a... Oh, this is Zork Garboder. Or Garbador. However, however people say it. Garboder. Because there's no A in it, guys. There's no A in Garbador. But it's Garboder. I guess I can't talk. I am the worst. Okay, so we won the coin flip. <laughs> yeah, I want to go first. All right, so on our turn. All righty. So we start this. Press done. Okay. So we got some interesting decisions to make here. Press done. Okay. I think we go for a nest ball for a cutie fly. Okay. Three Pokemon. Stop is a four Pokemon. Oh my goodness. This man just bridged against me and didn't play a sport card. Chimeco. Jesus Lord. All right, Nest Ball for this. Nest Ball for this. Okay. Acrobite. For Shrine? No, Kikui. And I'm a Kikui for two right now. I know it doesn't take a knockout. That's fine. I'm just trying to find stuff next turn. <clears throat> okay, great. Uh, press done. All right. Chimeco does not ma I guess we can't put down Robumbi next turn, Chimeco. You little partier. If he does attach a Psychic Energy to it, I guess. So, Nest Ball. Go to find another Zora, okay. Now you notice, I didn't play a Marsh Shadow, he only had three, only had four cards in hand. I don't know what he has. He could have a terrible hand right now. Uh, or he just has a Lily. Fine, whatever. Great, 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 great. So, Psychic Ejective, we'll see Bella Signs doing 10. Uh, Marsh Shadow, he Marsh Shadow us as well. Okay, whatever. Both get four cards here. <clears throat> Chimeco is about to do some work. Okie dokie. Well, I guess we're going to put a Fear Engine Deactive and Multiply. That's definitely the play right now. So, okay. Well, Fear Energy. Yeah, Fear Energy. Uh, Cynthia Banana 6. All right. Put down Egg. Multiply for another Egg. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> On to our opponent's turn. Okay, so let's see what happens. So, if he goes, if he attacks with Zork, we have to Ultra Ball for um, Marshadow right now, which is unfortunate. So, there's a Garboder coming down. Okay, I told you a Zork Garbodor. No, a Psychic Energy Garboder. Look at, oh, Guzma. Who Guzma up here? All right, Cutie Fly. He's like, yo, you're not getting that Cutie Fly out. I'm like, man, thanks, man. You're a pal. Thanks, Trash Lanch. Okay. So set up egg. I want to our turn. Mm, put down shrine. Put down ultra ball. Discard one and two. To get a marsh shadow. Cause we need we need a new hand here. Like if we don't, we're in trouble. So marsh shadow, yes. Getting four. He gets four as well. I know, it's fine. Alright, so acrobike. It's one yeah, acrobike. Uh, for Lily. 
involve the bench. And then Lily for four. Okay, put this down. And press done. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we can knock out a Garboder next turn. If it's not going to be active. So Ultra Ball. Alright, I think in the end we should be able to win this match because he has like Zorks. We don't have any EX GXs, which is going to be very nice. There's a Zork GX coming down, so he's going to start trading. Okay, that's fine. Zork GX coming down. We'll see some trade happening. And he doesn't one shot our egg. Alright, so there's that's not going to be a knockout this turn. So that's good. Um, so we can take a knockout this turn on Garbodor pretty easily. Um, right now we got four, five, six. So he's not one shotting us either. Two, four, six. Yeah. So he's not one shotting us either. Um, he can't one shot our egg. Our, our, our Lolan Zekator, Just to let you know, he needs a lot, and it's just not going to happen. So psychic energy there. Okay. Trade. Yeah, we're going to be able to take a knockout this turn. Yeah, we are. That he's not going to be a retaliated knockout. So trash lunch for the knockout. That's fine. Uh, 120, going down to 4. So we send up the Alolan Exacator, okay. Uh, Shrine kicking off. Good things are happening. So Ultra Ball, discard 1 and 2. To grab... Oh, I just noticed a Rabumbi surprised. Oh, no. Put this down. Put this down. Play... Cynthia. <gasps> oh no, guys, that's problematic. Um, choice, Marshadow. Yes. All right, somebody. We got two, three, four, five. Six, seven. If we play one more, he star takes knockouts. Oh my goodness. I think we press done right now. And just hope, like, we top deck something. That's so unfortunate. We pr we played two Rabumbies and we prized them both. If we didn't prize Rabumbi, we would have taken a knockout. Alright, so he needs to get Kui here. There's a Devour Guru coming down. I don't care about that card at all. Unless that Guzma's up our cutie fly. He, oh my goodness. Yeah, he needs a Guzma to take a knockout. Oh my Lanta. Are you kidding me right now? So trade. Psychic draw two. We, we can't drop another sport card or item card. Or we're in trouble. Two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, 140. There's a DC going to the Zark GX, okay. Cynthia, so he's not taking a knockout this turn. Uh, so that's good, okay. Yeah, he's not taking a knockout, okay. Um, we get in. Cynthia, hope to find a grass energy. Wow. <clears throat> All right. So 140 on our turn. And then, ugh, the next card. <laughs> Um, okay, so do we Guzma with Garbodor take a knockout on the bench and that way he can't take a double knockout? I think that's what we're doing here. I think I bring this, bring this, we Tropical Shake for the knockout on the that Garbodor, save this guy. So we're forcing him to Guzma this turn. Uh, there's a Brabumbi finally hit the field. Okay, Brabumbi coming down. Good, good, good. Let's see what he's got here. Does he send a Garbodor trash lunch for 140? Does it knock us out? That'd be great. Uh, Zork doesn't one shot us, which is another good thing. Okay. We're putting out Rebubby next turn with Cynthia. We're trying to find another Shrine of Punishment. Uh, here comes Zork GX. Does he play Ace Rolla? That's my question of the day. Uh, so the max he can do right now is 150. That's with Devourfield, Full Bench, and Kikui. Yeah. All right, so let's see. This guy can do 150, 160. So we can take a knockout this turn no matter what. There is an Ultra Ball. Will this find him a Tapu Lele for one attack to bring up this guy? That's what I would try to do if I was him. 
Um, okay, Trubbish. Now, the Garbodors can knock us out. That's definitely the scary thing. So, trait. Can we take a knockout if we hit? No, we still can't. Alright, go down to 17. Has he played? How many Guzmas has he played? Just one Guzma. Okay, we got our GX match. I think this is like the deck to play too, as well. I think this like super beats um, Malamar. So, Grass Energy. Alright, let's put Grass Energy here. Put down Rabumbi. Play Cynthia. Okay, we've got the Shrine, so we'll kick some more damage off. I don't know how much helpful this is going to be, though. Um, we'll rebump, oh, we'll Honey Gather to thin our deck down. We'll grab these two. <clears throat> so let's see, what, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Um, I think, no, we don't Choice Band. We just hold this, we Tropical Shake again, doing as much damage as possible, 120. Both these guys taking some Shrine damage. This guy will get knocked down in six turns. Uh, I don't think the shrine's gonna stick forever. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it's not going to. So it's like you do Trubbish. Another Garbodor coming down, okay. He needs another Devoured Field here. Which he probably has two of them. So trade, okay. Just gonna Ultra Ball draw two new cards, okay. <coughs> He's still gonna knock out four Pokemon as well. Um, which is another thing to know. So, oh, he put his a roll up. <sighs> great. Great. Good, great. All right. Discard top of Lele, okay. Trash for knockout, okay. Goes down to three. We might lose this game, guys. I'm going to be real honest. I think we're a little bit too slow, unfortunately. I know it's early, right? It's early to tell. Oh, man. Tropical Shake. I'm going to hold this hand right now. Uh, we'll, we'll honey gather. Just stand the deck down. We'll grab the grass energy. That's fine. <clears throat> we will, yeah. Tr Tropical Shake for the knockout. He's still not one starting our Zekator, so that's a good thing to note. I want to save that as long as possible. There's a Guzma. Okay, Guzma can help us knock out the Garbodor if need be. Um, five. S we could knock out the Zork GX next turn. Yeah, if he doesn't ace the roll of this. All right, here comes Time Echo. So he must have a way to do something this turn, like a Guzma effect or something. But if he goes for Guzma, um, we're definitely knock out the Zork GX on the bench. Going down to two. There's a DC to the bench Zork GX. Okay. Nest ball. So what's he trying to do here? Is he trying to soften us up and then take a knockout? Zora coming down, okay. Or does he have a Guzma knockout this guy? I wonder what our opponent playing is. So there's Guzma. Bring up the alone and tour. Send in this guy. Um we knock him back out, okay. He can't one shot this back. He'll have to hit another Guzma. <clears throat> He's down three Guzmas. Has he played really Palpad yet? He has not played Palpad, okay? How many Guzmas have we played? Um, just the one. All right, so we can knock this out. <clears throat> Go down to two. Okay, he needs a field blower this turn. Uh, because we can clue for knockout. Yeah, we can one shot. Okay, so Riot is beating. All right, this is what we need here. The Shrine damage will kick, kick off. We'll send in this guy. We'll see a tick come in. Okay. That happening. On to our turn. I think we just hold this hand. I don't think we do anything. I think we just tropical shake for the knockout. <clears throat> Going down to two. One, two. Uh, Acrobike and a Rumbumbi. All right. So let's see. So three, four. All right. So after this turn, we have to go for like, uh, we have to do a bunch of stuff here. <sighs> Uh, who does he send up? The Zork. Alright, so Shrine damage kicking off, okay. So the Zork GX coming down, okay. So five, six, seven. <gasps> Wait, is that a knockout? We do 150, 167. 
eight? If this comes back into us with a tick, we win. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh my goodness. Or is he pal platter for Guzma right now? And that is what we might, yeah, there's double Guzma. How many DCs has he played? One DC. So Lele, one attack for Guzma, okay. <sighs> Dang it, if he leaves his active, we win right now. Oh my goodness, who does he goose him up? Definitely not the Marshadow. Definitely not the Marshadow. That'd be insane, right? Goose him up the, yeah, the Rebumpy. Um, This is gonna unfortunately win the game. This is gonna win the game, unfortunately. Wait, hold on, 25, 6, hold on, oh no! <laughs> I was like, we can bring the Lele up and knock it out because it'll, it'll, it'll take down a six. We one shot at 150. Oh, man. All right, so what's the odds of him not having it, right? So we have to play it to our odds, right? So our odds are <sighs> put down Shrine, Guzm up Lele, put up the Executor, go for Tropical Shake. And be 10 damage up. If that shrine would have stuck, we would have won the game. Like I said, we were just a little too slow. I mean, he has two traits. Does he? What if he misses the goose off the tree traits? Um. Because it. Oh, Ace Roller. Great. That still doesn't knock us out, though. Yeah, that still doesn't knock us out, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. That's not a knockout. This thing ticks back into us, we knock this guy out. He should have traded for Guzma and won the game. We are going to win against this. Oh my goodness, we played the outs to Garbodor. Oh my goodness. Wait, he has one energy cost, right? Yeah, so we grass energy here. Guzma, bring up the Lele, send our Marsh out of retreat, and win the game. We know he had Guzma in deck, decided not to go for the Guzma play, and we're going to win thanks to Shrine of Punishment. And there we go, guys. Alola Zekator taking out Zorak Garbador. My opponent should have won that game. He should have Guzma. Maybe he had more. He had a DC right there. He could have went for it. There we go, guys. That was a great three games. I know the first two were like unexciting at all, but the last game saved the best for last, and we did it, guys. Have a great day. Go vote for your, your, the video tomorrow. Alrighty, bye.